Hi, this is Dr. Michael Van Antwerp. We're going to look at a couple things with carpal tunnel syndrome and pronator teres syndrome and look at some muscle tests that are really quick, easy to do versus, say, doing an EMG and having to really go through that painful process of doing that. It, that is sometimes a needed test, but this is a little quicker while you're in the office. So we're going to look at the opponent's polycus. We're going to look at the opponent's digit menemy. I'll have you hold those two together. I'm going to try to pull them apart. Some light pressure. We're not trying to yank the fingers apart. We can individually look at the opponent pollicus and see if that's getting a little weak. We can look at the opponent's digiti minimi. So this is looking at it with the form and supination. One change we can do is add some pronation, and we'll use those same muscle groups. We'll try to pull those apart. So if we get some changes between the two, between supination and pronation of the forearm, one thing we might think of if we're having it both weak and supination and pronation, we might think, hey, that if that's the opponent pollicus, we're actually maybe getting some pressure in the carpal tunnel or maybe from a little higher up. However, if it's strong in supination and we're getting some weakness in pronation of the form, we might start thinking we're getting some compression with the pronator teres across that median nerve. We may also see some uh, weakness in the opponent's digiti minimi in certain positions. We might start thinking more kind of cubital tunnel or maybe some of these other muscle groups that might entrap that. So it's a quick, easy way to test, hey, is it different here, or is it different here? And sometimes we don't think about that in testing those two muscle groups. Just a quick little tip. Thank you.